హరే కృష్ణ రీడింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద బుక్ శ్రీమామృత అండ్ అప్ టు ద హోలీ నేమ్ కంటిన్యూ చాప్టర్ సిక్స్ ఇన్ ద ప్రజెంట్ ఏజ్ చాంటింగ్ ద హరే కృష్ణ మంత్ర ఈజ్ మోర్ ఇఫెక్టివ్ దాన్ యోగి బ్రెదిక్ ఎక్సర్సైజెస్ ఫార్ కంట్రోలింగ్ ద మైండ్ నారద ముని టు ధ్రువ ఆఫ్టర్ సిట్టింగ్ ఆన్ యువర్ సెట్ ప్రాక్టీస్ ద త్రీ కైండ్స్ ఆఫ్ బ్రెదింగ్ ఎక్సర్సైజెస్ అండ్ ద గ్రాజువలీ కంట్రోల్ ద లైఫ్ ఎయర్ ద మైండ్ అండ్ ద సెన్సెస్ completely free yourself from all material contamination and with great patience begin to meditate on the supreme personality of god in this way the entire yoga system is described in summary and special stress is given to the breathing exercises for stopping the disturbing mind the mind by nature is always oscillating for it is very flicker but the breathing exercises is meant to control it This process of controlling the mind might have been very possible in those days millions of years ago when Dhruva Maharaj took to it but at the present moment the mind has to be fixed directly on the lotus feet of the lord by the chanting process <clears throat> by chanting the hari krishna mahamantra one immediately concentrates on the sound vibration and thinks of the lotus feet of the lord and very quickly one is elevated to the position of samadhi or trance If one goes on chanting the holy names of the Lord, which are not different from the Supreme Personality of Godhead, naturally his mind becomes absorbed in the thought of the Lord. Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 4, Chapter 8, Text 44 The process of Krishna consciousness is to chant Hare Krishna and to hear the sound alternatively, uh, attentively so that okay, repeat. <coughs> The process of Krishna consciousness is to chant Hare Krishna and to hear the sound attentively so that the mind is fixed upon the transcendental vibration of Krishna's name which is non different from Krishna's the personality the real purpose of controlling the mind by the prescribed method of clearing the passage of the life air is achieved immediately if one fixes his mind directly on the lotus feet of the lord krishna the hatha yoga system or the breathing system especially recommended for those who are very absorbed in the concept of bodily existence but one who can perform the simple process of chanting hare krishna can fix the mind more easily as stated in bhagavad gita one's mind is his enemy and one's mind is also his friend its position varies according to the different dealing of the living entity If we divert our mind to thoughts of the material enjoyment, then our mind becomes an enemy. And if we concentrate <coughs> our mind on the lotus feet of Krishna, then our mind is a friend. In Bhagavad Gita 8.8, it is said that one must practice the breathing exercises, Abhyasa Yoga Yuktena. By virtue of this process of control, the mind cannot wander to external thoughts. Chetasa Nanya Gamina. Thus, one can fix his mind constantly on the Supreme Personality of Godhead and can attain Yati, Him. The process of purifying the mind is also recommended by Lord Chaitanya. He says that one must or one should chant Hare Krishna. He says further, Param Vijayate, all glories to Sri Krishna, Sankirtan. All glories are given to the chanting of the holy name of Krishna because as soon as one begins this process of chanting the mind becomes purified chetu darpan marjanam chetan charitam antalila chapter 20 text 1 by chanting the holy name of Krishna one is cleansed of the dirt that accumulates in the mind shrimad bhagavatam canto 3 text chapter 28 text 9 and 10 hare krishna सरिनाम प्रभु की जय श्री पाद की जय जय